Hello, everyone. My name is Yuko Tomizuka. I'm a global real, real estate investment advisor with 30 years of experience. I have analyzed more than 20,000 properties. Today, I'd like to speak this topic, how to convert hotels under COVID-19 pandemic in Japan. Since the pandemic started in February 2020, there have been several hotel bankruptcy cases in Japan. More, most of them are old hotel buildings. However, some have been found as brand new buildings. Therefore, today I'd like to analyze how we can use those abandoned hotels. In other words, those possible options for us to work with conversion scenarios. The possible uses are forums, number one, residential, number two, nursing home, number three, employee flats or dormitory, number four, remote work facility, number five, student accommodation, and number six, storage rooms. Let, it, let me explain one by one. Number one, residential. Needless to say, it's the most popular use for the com conversion. Once before, the conversion had been done in the opposite direction from residential to hotel. However, under the current our uncertainty and new normal brought to the pandemic, residential has been the use supported by most of institutional investors. As I demonstrated under the following, the length of residential will be decreasing as time passes. Furthermore, given the consumption tax receipt and payment, the owner may not save a lot of tax and in the sense, residential use looks less profitable. However, to take the safe side, then we may consider conversion to residential as a wise and clever choice. Number two, nursing form, care center for aged people. This has been seen in many regions in Japan. Generally, the nursing home operators have preferred having their facility in city center locations. Why? Because people can get active among a lively and energetic environment. The patient's family can easily access to the facility. Therefore, operators have been wanted to have facilities in city center location. However, most importantly, a project with a city center location never get, gets paid due to their overinvestment, their expense revenue balance. Nevertheless, COVID-19 has created several hurdles for them. The operators, therefore, some buildings have been purchased by those nursing home operators or investors. Good things about them are lower initial investment, better rotation, and advan advantages in sourcing staffs. Thus, this has been seen as a good alternative for hotel property. Number three, employee flats or dormitory, say around 30, 40 years ago, so-called Dankai workers or Dankai generations, the, who are Dankai? The just after World War II, they were born and they contributed a lot. The Great Japan grows in 70s, 80s. Uh, those Dankai committed themselves to working hard for companies, especially for single male workers. That it was more convenient to live in a corporate dormitory, even though they had to be patient or less privacy in convenience in, in their enjoying single lives. However, nowadays, people's privacy has been more comfortably protected by technologies. For instance, young residents can stay all the weekend at flats, apartments, enjoying their favorite music with high technology audio set and games with the installed the high technology monitors. Uh, noise can never get released in neighbors, neighboring flats. And with 24 hours standalone security, residents never met each other in a common space. As long as the rent is reasonable, younger generation would never hesitate to live in such facility. This is, of course, a good, good for companies to retain younger workers. Number four, remote work facility, office plus residential. For instance, lower floors can be converted into office spaces. The address-free system, the personal belonging storage space, and the cafeteria or bars to chat with colleagues. Upper floors can be used as accommodations. Users do not need a small kitchen for their cooking, but some simple cafe spaces and a small refrigerator to keep their stuffs. That's it, that's all. Thus, only a few renovations may be needed to make such facilities. The large companies under Japanese conglomerate may lease up such facilities for their employees under their the conglomerate group. This looks stable 
and the safe side investment, taking into account the future de the demand. Number five, student accommodation. The Japan identified several universities as an academic institution to be su survived over middle to long term. They were called the super global universities. Therefore, if the hotels are located close to the aforementioned universities, student accommodation may be one of the options when you think about conversion. The list of super global universities you can find under this Wikipedia, that you can open them into Google Chrome so that you'll be able to find everything into English language. For student accommodation, the common space needs to be spa spacious and fully furnished for students to enjoy their lives. If some student accommodation operator takes up the operation, institutional officials may seriously consider investing those facilities despite of their conversion cost. Number six, storage rooms. COVID-19 has more encouraged people to pile up stocks, stuffs, rather than to keep themselves to be neat and tidy minimalist. And therefore, if they find a nice storage spaces in their neighborhood area, and they would be that would be a nice option for them. When I was living in the center of Tokyo, my flat was about 45 square meter. However, I was allocated a one storage space within three point square meter located in the basement. That helped our staff management a lot. I realized that storage doesn't have to be in the same building of my apartment, but accompanying a sort of the so-called courier service, delivering of service will be more convenient for users to take those spaces. That's again to summing up the possible use of hotel buildings are as follows. Number one, residential. Number two, nursing form. Number three, employee flats or dormitory. Number four, remote work facility. Number five, student accommodation. Number six, storage rooms. Taking into account the stability over middle to long term, I feel number one, residential or the employee dorm will be the most recommendable. Number two, numbers, nursing home. And number six, storage can be considered depending on the economy. I mean, the feasibility. Number four, remote work and number five, student accommodation, maybe the location oriented. Under each scenario, a com comprehensive analysis by professional is highly recommended. The transition of hotel bankruptcy cases found under the following site. Let me tell you my background. I started my career at the Japan Real Estate Institute companies, the country's largest and oldest real estate appraisal consulting firm. For after 12 years of my career, I went abroad to do my MBA and coming back here in Japan, joined several financial institutions, BS Dance, Euro Hypo and West Derby Group. And eventually, since 2013, I came here in Okinawa. That's why you can see the beautiful ocean background. And I've, I've been doing the investment advisory work and the hotel consultancy work as well. Basically, I speak four languages, Japanese, English, Italian, and the Portuguese. If you like this, the please click the like and then the register my, my channel. Thank you for your attention.